As former Nalcor CEO Ed Martin remained on the stand today, counsel wrapped up its questioning, but not before questioning Martin on the 2013 SNC Lavalin risk report. NTV's Kellyanne Roberts with the story. Former Nalcor CEO Ed Martin returned to the stand today at the Muskrat Falls inquiry. After being scrutinized for not disclosing cost figures on the mega project to government yesterday. Today, the tone didn't shift between Martin and inquiry lawyer Barry Learmonth. And us going back and I, forth I on it. There is a record of this, and either your statement is correct or mine is correct, and we'll just leave it like that. Okay? Is that, you content with that? Um, I agree to move on. Okay. In 2013, SNC Lavalin compiled a risk report on the mega project. A report Martin denies ever being offered. Mr. Card said that you refused it, refused to accept the report. Now, I'd like to give you an opportunity to respond to that uh, evidence that Mr. Bashard uh, gave you. It's not, you know, it, it, what I'm, I'm putting to you is, as I believe, substantially correct. There may be a few little nuances, but he did use the word he refused to accept it. Uh, I was in the meeting, the report was not uh, produced, discussed, offered, or otherwise. Through cross-examination today, it was put to Martin he had figures regarding contracts, but they weren't conveyed to the Premier at the time, Kathy Dunderdale. So when you spoke to the Premier, you didn't sit down with her with the material contracts <clears throat> reconciliation? Absolutely not. And said, look, this is what we've done, we've reduced no. contingencies. So what you, what you did, you, the information you presented to the Premier at the time was on page 29. That's correct. So the Premier agreed to encumber Governor Newfoundland with a completion agreement on the basis of that. Uh, you, I think you'd have to ask the Premier Dunderdale that, but uh, you know, for clarity's sake, I believe this would be a normal type of approach. Uh, you know, he rolled up the data to something that's very understandable and readable. Martin continues on the stand for more cross-examination. Kellyanne Roberts, NTV News.